Sime, 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 sime. Shiny, 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 shiny. Realized I skipped a few steps and I just want to quickly tell you how I made the shapes of the roof because I thought I was quite um, I was quite surprised that it worked so well. So I cut five little triangles uh, at an angle of 22.5, chop, saw, chop, saw, chop, and then what I did, I put them all together like this. And there uh, we go here. So I did the tape. Just to fix it in place for a minute. Um, Right, um, put it over the top, held it in place, and then I took the nail gun, tap, 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 and tagged it on. And now it's really solid, it's a good shape. This is pressure treated timber, so it should last a bit longer than non pressure treated timber outside. It's made for outside, it's actually off cuts of a uh, timber we use for a gate, and uh, yeah, actually. And then I used a few sticks. Fill the gaps and I'm uh, not really pleased on how this looks like proper roof on how uh, this worked out. So as you can see I have been busy. Details, details, details. A little fairy house is all 3D printed by Mother Weird Robot, and I spent evenings painting the details. And a bit more progress here details, 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 and some more details. Okay, they have details. And now, next step is the basis, covered in gravel, PVA, and paint mix to blend them in a little bit. So now we have our basing mix made, so PVA glue sand, gravel with the plastic and black paint to just give the ground a little bit of texture. So this is our first one and um, I would like to add just a few more details. It means I'm taking a few stones, hot glue them on, maybe cut up a few of them to just um, not just have it all just flat there. Stick it on with the glue gun and then we see how we go. So what I actually did here is I 3D printed the little door, painted it, and then to kind of like fix it to this shape, round shape of the tree trunk, um, I reheated it with the heat gun just a little bit to mold it onto the shape of the tree and it looks very organic and I am actually really really delighted with it. So, so 
see if the heat can heat it up. And still we are going to go. Step one for the basing is complete and has to dry now. And then we're going to put a bit of fake grass with my new fake grass applicator on it and a few brushes and that should be it. Mm -hmm. 